Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to flash a Nokia 3220 at RH37 on with Jaff. Here's my Jaff box, I'm going to plug it into USB. Get the USB it is right. Anyway, so there's a Nokia 3220, uh, RH37. So get our cable, which is here. Uh, Jaff end, Jaff cable. Um, one end's an RJ45, the other end's the um, F-Bus um, connector under the battery here. That's where this little connector plugs into. So you put the end which has the battery connectors on, the battery terminals, in first, like this. And then you push down hard until it clicks, like that. Okay, plug it into Jaff. And then, um, let me just position this so you can see the phone. Maybe a bit tricky because the cable's quite short and quite rigid. Um, let me put this paper behind it so you can see it. So, in a second, the phone should say local mode. Once I start up the P key emulator, launch that. Obviously you need to have the Nokia 3220 RH37 firmware installed, the firmware executable to install the firmware files. Um, basically I've got a 6.22 firmware installed. Click on go and the phone should say local mode or test mode in a second. Probably local mode. There we go. If you can see that it says local mode. So what you do you select manual flash, use any, <coughs> excuse me, use any. You then have to select the phone you want to use, so it's 3220 RH37, okay. And then you choose the type of firmware you want according to your product code. Now, in this particular Nokia 3220, I've changed the product code to a generic. Euro A Latin black and silver uh, product code 051 <coughs> excuse me <coughs> product code 0516203 originally it was an orange pay as you go UK phone but I've changed it so if you want to change the product code permanently permanently so next time you flash it it detects the product code as the new one you click change product code then you click flash It's going to take about nine minutes, I think, so um, we'll leave it going anyway. So, yeah, in here we're flashing the MCU, the PPM and the CNT files. Um, don't ask me what they are. I would also recommend you make sure that RPL208 is ticked, which is, I think, something to do with the IMEI, um, or the security area, or both being backed up. Um, so yeah, make sure that's ticked. Um, yeah, it takes about nine minutes, so I'll carry on drinking my coffee, and you can watch that uh, flashing away. I was a good singer, I'd sing you a song. Um, what it's basically doing now is erasing the flash memory, um, various areas, various pages of the flash memory, in order to replace it with a new uh, firmware, which, um, which is 6.22. I'm using a Jaff box I got off eBay for £36. Um, it's a genuine Jaff. Um, I'm using the 64-bit drivers that I, deta I detailed in my other, my other uh, video, which was how to install Jaff on 64-bit Windows 7, um, which is in this folder here, Jaff X64, 
there's the drivers there you see the com drivers and the jas drivers that's the 64 bit drivers anyway let me move this out of the way in case the webcam is in the way let me minimize the uh, PK emulator I'll move this up here in case you can't see it because of the uh, when this video is finished there'll be a um, there'll be a window here with a live video of what I'm doing here so um, I want to make sure that's out of the way so there's plenty of screen real estate for you to be able to see it okay so it's about halfway through now it's doing uh, various things like erasing flash um, erasing uh, various parts of the flash calculating various... I don't know what it's doing actually, it's just it's doing what it's doing basically, I don't know what it's doing it's doing whatever it needs, whatever it needs to to upgrade this firmware as I said before, before this phone was on Orange um, version 5 point... well actually I don't know no this phone was... no this phone came from eBay, dead it was on Orange but I can't remember what firmware it was because I wouldn't have known because it was dead so Jaff revived it originally. Um, I flashed it three or four times since just to play around with it. It's just this is just a experimenting phone, but it works very well. I've got another one here which I am um, another one another 3220 here which I uh, upgraded to to 6.22. That was on 5.80. and That was uh, on Tesco Mobile. Um, so that's another 3220. And this one's in slightly better condition. Anyway. I think it's almost done. What's it doing now? <coughs> Excuse me. It's erasing more flash. Erasing the PPM. and then writing the PPM. Waiting for phone to boot. Very exciting, isn't it? It's like watching paint dry, but more exciting. But only just. <laughs> Come on, Jaffa K, carry up. What's it doing? Okay, there we go. It says done. Product code has been changed to 051-6203. There's our um, phone type and software version. Okay. So next, you unplug the Jaffa cable. <coughs> Excuse me. You unplug the Jaffa cable. That's hay fever. Um, grab the bottom where the cable goes in. Pull hard, carefully. There's your phone. Let's get a battery. Because without a battery, we're going to get absolutely nowhere. Let's get, let's get a uh, battery, which is tight. Bravo, Bravo Lima 5 Bravo BL5B battery for the 3220. In that goes. Oh, hang on. I haven't got a SIM card in there. Let's put a SIM card in. It's got to be gift gap, hasn't it? Okay, that goes in. Battery goes in. Phone power's on. It's going to play its little chime. Okay. We can close Jaff down now. On the emulator. Firmware version star hash zero 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 hash six point two two. There you go. See you later, guys. Take care.